Uh, Terminator. Uh, looks like a Terminator. So I, I, you, were, you were a Terminator after yesterday. I, I was yesterday. <laughs> I've been trying to break into the whole internet reviewing thing for about three years now on YouTube, and as as of last night, I checked my YouTube page, and I'm currently sitting on about uh, 36 subscribers that have been doing this for three years. <laughs> and it, for some reason, it's really difficult for me to try and like build up a fan base. And I'm just wondering, like, like recently I've been trying to cross over to doing clip stuff because that seems to be a lot more of like a professional thing to do. So I'm just wondering, like, do you have any like suggestions for how, or like, things you know work in terms of trying to build up viewers? He can tell you a lot about uh, building up viewers. Though one thing I should note. Don't necessarily judge your actual fan base by how many subscribers you have, because there's just as many people who don't subscribe to anybody, but still watch the videos themselves. Uh, in, in terms of getting views, and I mean, with all of that, I think it's very important to say there is no surefire way to, you know, like, you do this, you're going to be a hit, you know, I mean, it's just, like I said, a lot of it is luck, it's a mix of talent and luck, um, but, but like I said, it's stuff... Trying to do stuff that people are, are Googling or, or looking up helps. Um, you know, like whatever. Sometimes I try to get the, the zeitgeist, like there's a new movie coming out. Like one of the first reviews I did, it wasn't even nostalgic, it was of the Cloverfield trailer. Which is like, you know, and now it gets no views. But when it first came out, I was like one of two big, because I did it right away. As soon as that trailer came out, I said, this is going to be big, people are going to be talking about it. I, I did it like in a day, I think, just really fast, and because of that, uh, people were going and they they look it up. What is this trailer? You know, trans before Transformers trailer, blah blah blah. And people were seeing my video that got me a lot of views. So I would say the zeitgeist, though it doesn't always work. I mean, keep that in mind. But uh, it, it can if you can catch on something that's gonna be popular. And it, or you can sense it's going to be popular and, and really fast. If you get something out there really quick and, and sort of really have a, a good voice in there and something funny, uh, I, I think that would help. But yeah, I, like I said, try to find stuff that people are looking up and, and Googling uh, constantly. That, that's the best advice I can give. So uh, yeah, that person holding the camera. Oh, I was uh, just wondering, out, not, not counting people who are on that guy with the glasses or affiliated with it, uh, what are your favorite internet reviewers? If you... Um, who, who's that James Paul idiot? <laughs> no, I mean he, he had, I mean he was a big influence. He, you know, this is something where I was thinking about doing this. I sort of saw this guy. It's like, oh, he's doing it, and people seem to like. Okay, well, I can do it. It sort of showed me, oh, you can do this, and people can like you for it and enjoy it. You know, so uh, that was certainly a big influence. Um. I'm, I'm trying to think, actually, and it's funny you said that people outside the back out of the glasses, because actually a lot of them I do, I, I do learn stuff from. I think both of us sort of realize from different sources, I, I sort of got it from Lindsay, I think you were saying you got it from this other reviewer, that it's, it actually is okay to talk sort of like, you know, about what you're reviewing in a serious way too. Like you can, you can make fun of it, you can, but then you can sort of give your real opinion as well. You know, like it's not just about the jokes. Um, but, uh, I mean, outside of that, it's, in terms of reviewers, it's a, a reviewer we like, we just sort of grab. <laughs> so it's hard to say outside the site. Uh, in terms of people I just like online, I love the, uh, how they show vended, uh, cartoons. I love, that uh, Brentel Floss is hilarious. That guy's a genius. Um, that, that other guy does the movie theme lyrics, uh, they do, like, Indiana Jones and stuff. I forget his name, but he's very funny. Um, I'm sure there's, uh, Red versus Blue I really like. <laughs> <laughs> I just really like the show. Um, also, I'm sure there's others, but those are the ones that are coming to mind. Well, aside from Red vs. Blue, uh, two that have been a big influence on my reviews, if you notice, I've been a little more analytical in some of my more recent reviews, especially in the History of Power Rangers. The, the direct inspiration for History of Power Rangers is a reviewer on YouTube called SF Debris. Uh, he reviews Star Trek, and he had some Red Dwarf videos for a while, but YouTube hit him for copyright infringement for those. I really recommend him. Also, Red Letter Media's Plinket Reviews. Woo! I don't have many fans of Plinket right there. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a, there are a few other reviewers out there that I do check out on occasion, though. Not very often, because my time is valuable, but if I really need to watch something and, you know, eat, and, eat while I'm in watching while I'm eating, uh, like uh, TJ Omega, uh... I'm drawing complete blank, even though I, I watch a couple. But, uh, but yeah, there are other 
outside of the, sh the out of sight of the side of watch. Ah, uh, da, 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 you in the brown hat. Uh, you know, it's like a couple of your other stories about it. I mean, how do you get yourself to be entertaining when it's just not working, when the review is cursed, or when you're not feeling well? Because because you're entertainers. You know, how do you do that when you're the, the show must go on. Yeah. <laughs> You really, you really just have to do soldier on through. Even if you, even if you don't think it's the best, you really just have to continue on trying. Uh, if I don't, if I think while well, I'm just reviewing the the editing or whatnot, the joke doesn't work and it's just terrible, I just like screw it. I'm cutting it out. I this, I will be stronger without this. But if you're feeling down, but you still want to get through, you just have to. What's the word? Gut check time, man. You gotta suck it up. Get in there. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> um, yeah, white face. Uh, I was wondering if there was like any uh, time for you to have like, uh, a review that was on like the schedule and then you just watch like the what the material and then you found there's just like nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, and, and exactly like what he said, your show must go on, and it hasn't, sometimes it's worked out okay, sometimes we, we don't review and, you know, the movie we didn't think it was much material, and it came out fine. Uh, then there's ones like Junior, which is just, it, it was so boring, and so, you just think that'd be foolproof, you know, it's like, this is gold, Schwarzenegger pregnant, ha! <laughs> and just... Nothing, just nothing out of this movie, except for that creepy Schwarzenegger Muppet baby. That was creepy. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, like, I, but I, I don't, pull, I try not to pull them because people usually do want to see them. I think the only one I ever pulled was the Old vs. New War of the Worlds, and that's what. Oh, oh, Matilda, yeah, and that's what, just because people were just like, I will decapitate you if you do this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's a large fan base that, that thinks exactly what he thinks. Uh, you know, I absolutely love it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think that was the big point where you just sent me a Skype message, you're just like, they will kill you. <laughs> okay, I'm getting that vibe, yeah, that vibe back out. So, uh, there have been a couple. For the most part, I move forward. It's very rare that I back out, because sometimes it does work. But, uh, yeah, there have been a few. Four times. And every time I do so, I mention it in the video. Uh, the first one was, like, Siphons number one. I had gotten it thinking it would be bad, and yeah, the, artwork was, uh, the artwork was dull, but there wasn't really anything to make fun of. It wasn't that bad. Q unit. Q unit broke me. <laughs> it was so freaking... BORING! There was nothing to latch on to, nothing to make fun of, just, it was just so dull. I was like, I can't make this funny, I can't make this entertaining. Screw it, Chuck Norris Karate Commandos! <laughs> I think I replaced with Candy Computer Whiz Kids. Oh, I actually, actually, that was cute that I replaced with that. But there was that, Chuck Norris, Friday Commandos, and then the last one was The Others, which in that case, I was like, because here's the thing, I, on my blog, I do release an upcoming schedule of, of videos I'm going to make, uh, and one of them was uh, was The Others, and it was just this boring mid-90s image comic about animals, people in a, the Arctic or something. It was just really dull, wasn't that bad, so I thought, well, I've Plays like three times already this year. I, I can't just like keep doing that every time I find something I hate. Okay, I'll add on something, and I'll and I did brute force. Robo Bear versus Cyber Gorilla. Oh, and by the way, in two weeks, brute force number two. 